Hello, young friends. Today, we are going to learn about something very important, safety and first aid. That's right, we are going to discover how we can keep ourselves safe and what to do if someone gets hurt. Let us start. What is safety? Safety means making sure you're not in danger or harm's way. It's like being in a cozy bubble where nothing can hurt you. Now we are going to learn how to be safe at all times. Accidents can happen, but guess what? We can avoid them by following safety rules. Whether we are at home, school, swimming pool, playground, or on the road, safety rules are our best friends. They're like invisible shields keeping us safe. Home is where we feel the safest, but we still need to be careful. Here's how. Do not run in the house. You might fall down and get hurt. Do not take medicines without any adults or doctor's advice. Never open the door for strangers. Do not take any eatables from strangers. Use a stool or ladder to reach something placed high. The kitchen is fun, but it's also a place to be extra careful. Do not try to light the gas stove in the absence of any adult. In case of a gas leakage, open the doors and windows to let the gas out. Do not operate any electric appliance and do not light the fire in case of gas leakage. Synthetic clothes catch fire easily. Bathrooms can be slippery places. For our safety, we must Keep the bathroom floor dry. Someone may easily slip on the wet floor. Do not leave soap and shampoo on the floor. Someone might trip over them. Electricity is helpful but we must respect it. So we should. Never touch switches or wires with wet hands to avoid shocks. If someone gets shocked, turn off the main switch right away. School is for fun and learning, but safety comes first. Do not run up or down the stairs. You may fall down and cause injury to yourself and others. Do not climb on desks or benches. You might fall down. Do not lean on or slide down the banisters. Playtime should always be safe time. Do not fight while playing. Follow the rules of the game. Do not play rough games. Also, do not play with sharp and pointed objects. Always swim in the presence of an adult. Do not jump into the pool if you do not know swimming well. Do not push or pull anyone into the pool. Roads can be busy places. Let's stay safe. Always walk on the footpath. If there is no footpath, walk on the right side of the road so that you can see the traffic coming. Always cross the road at the zebra crossing. Do not play or run on the road. Do not walk between the vehicles parked on the road. First aid is the first help given to someone hurt before a doctor comes. It's important to learn first aid to help others. Stay calm and make the injured person comfortable. And remember, don't crowd around them. Got a small cut or wound? Here's what to do. First, wash your hands thoroughly before giving first aid to an injured person. Wash the wound with clean water to remove the dirt. Apply an antiseptic lotion like Detol or Savlon over the wound. Tie a bandage or put a bandaid over the wound. If someone gets burnt, here's how to help. Hold the burnt area under cool running water until the burning sensation stops. You can also apply an ice pack on the burnt area. Apply an antiseptic cream like Burnol on the burnt area. If the burn is severe, go to a doctor. Insect bites can sting. Here's a quick fix. Place a piece of ice or pour cold water on the affected area. You can apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream on the affected area. If someone faints, here's how to help. When a person faints, make him lie down with the head lower than the body. This helps the blood to flow faster into the brain. Do not crowd around a person who has fainted. Loosen collars or belts of the person. 
sprinkle cold water on the person's head. The first aid box contains all the things necessary for immediate help to an injured person. It contains bandage, cotton wool, gauze, a pair of scissors, antiseptic lotion, etc. It's everything we need to help someone in need. Conclusion Staying safe and knowing first aid are superpowers we can all have. Remember, being safe means being smart. Always follow the safety rules we learned today and you'll be a safety superhero. Bye for now and stay safe. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on Eduref to ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi and much more for class 4. Thank you.